Hey guys, Backyard Scientist here. Today we're filling this fish tank with about 15 gallons of soda and I'm about to pour molten aluminum in it. So let's get started. I wanted to pour the molten aluminum into soda instead of water because I was curious if the carbonation would affect it in any way. All right, I have no idea what's gonna happen. I'm gonna pour it in here first so I can pour it in there easier. Here. All right, anyway. I'm ready now. When it hits the water, three, two, one. And everything was going smoothly until I poured the aluminum a little bit too close to the glass. Oh man! That stinks. Well, at least it didn't explode. At least let's see what we got. Uh, uh, a big old aluminum. I don't know what this is. It's a modern art. It's kind of cool. Let's let's check out the high speed and see what that looks like. Like I said before, I was curious what would happen if I poured the molten aluminum into the carbonation. Would the bubbles make the aluminum fall faster because more air is in the water? Or would the bubble swarming push the aluminum back up to the surface? Now let's pour aluminum into regular water and see what that looks All like right. in slow motion. Three, two, one. Try to make a drippy castle. It made a pretty cool drippy castle, but it fell apart when I tried to take it out of the water. Anyway, let's check the high speed and see what it looks like. When the aluminum comes into contact with the water, it instantly vaporizes it, forming a shimmering protective coating of water vapor. And as it's falling through, it creates some of the coolest shapes I've ever seen. Fortunately, nothing exploded, but that's no fun, is it? So now let's take some tin, which explodes when it hits water, and see what that looks like in slow motion. Oh yeah, you can definitely see the little steam explosions happening there. Not as powerful as the molten salt, so it can't really hurt you, but it's pretty cool. I think I'm gonna try it again. These little steam explosions are happening in a fraction of a second, and it's pretty cool. Even at 7,000 frames per second, you can only see a couple frames of it happening. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I feel like I owe you an explanation why I haven't been uploading videos as frequently as I used to. I've been on a road trip with my girlfriend, and when we were doing some off-road trails, my hard drive was damaged, and I lost pretty much all of my files, but I was able to recover most of my files, so you should see regular videos from now on. And if you'd like to see more videos of my girlfriend and I's adventures, you can subscribe to her YouTube channel, and I'll put the link down below in the description. I'll see you there, or I'll see you next week. Bye.